Someone recently took a shot at Donald Trump, seemingly with the intent to kill him. They were unsuccessful. Since then, a variety of Democrats from purple districts have jumped forward to begin claiming it's time we change the rhetoric around Trump. A bunch of pundits have joined this call as well, claiming that describing Trump as a threat to democracy or the like led to this violence. I agree with these Democrats and with the pundits that we need to change how we talk about Trump. And by that I mean we need more people to actually talk about Trump and the things he chooses to say or do, rather than treating him as some generic Republican candidate. Accurately describing things Donald Trump chooses to say or do is more important now than ever. I worry that not enough people really grapple with the fact that Trump is a sexual abuser. Trump has chosen to enact sexual violence against women. Trump was a friend of Jeffrey Epstein. Trump is a fraudster. Trump stole classified information. Trump deliberately took extraordinary steps to ensure legitimate votes of Americans would not be counted so he could continue to maintain power in an assault on our democratic system. He literally tried a coup. Trump openly claims he wants to be a dictator. Trump nominated the judges who have destroyed protections for abortion and his judges intend to roll back many other rights. I will continue to judge Trump as I try to do for every person by the things they say and by the things they do. And by that metric, Trump is still a bad man whose actions endanger us all. One missed shot changes zero of the things that Donald Trump has chosen to say and do. Donald Trump is still responsible for every evil thing he has said and done. In light of that, I encourage everyone to stand back and stand by as we prepare for this election.